this tutorial is going to introduce joins, the concept of an inner join more specifically in structured query language. I'm going to use Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio Express and I already have a diagram here of a simple database that I have made in the past and it has these two tables here the items table which lists the items ID the item name and the room ID and that is associated with the rooms table which has the room ID and the room so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a new query here and what I'm going to do is I have to pick the SQL tutorial and I'm just going to say select all from from items just to br bring up all of the I'm going to execute that so we have the item ID column the item column and the room ID column now suppose I wanted to get the results of the items in the rooms and we can instead of saying select all I can say select item comma room ID and then from the items table and I can execute that and we'll have a, one column of all the items and all of the room IDs now if we want to narrow that and only include the ones that have room ID number two we can use a where clause and we've gone over this before in another tutorial where room ID equals two I can execute that and it shows me room ID 2. Now the the purpose of the join is to because we don't really this doesn't mean anything to somebody other than maybe the person that developed the database a designer or people that use it often so what we want to do is we want to be able to use we actually want to be able to tell it we want uh, to display the room I'm going to undo what I just did there instead of the room ID but if I do that now it's really not going to know what to do because it doesn't know where this room where the word room is or what column that is because it's in a different table where you could see what the in our where cl or in our from clause we're telling it to select these things from our items table so if we go back to the diagram you could see that room is actually the name over here in the rooms table so what we have to do is we have to create this join in this in this case it is an inner join I'm not going to go in the difference between joins right now but the inner join is the most common type of join so when we do this um, we put the join clause right after the items and <coughs> we're going to join the the uh, rooms table so we're going to select item room from items and then we're going to use the keyword inner join and w immediately after the keyword inner join we're going to type the name of the table that we want to join and that is inner join the rooms which is the name of the table now we're going to say we, we have to tell it where to join them so we use the keyword on so we're we're, we're going to join the two things that are the same on both tables and that is the room ID you can see here the room ID is the primary key on the rooms table and it is uh, the foreign key on the items table so we are going to join the tables on the room ID so the items table dot room ID equals the rooms dot room ID and now we can say where uh, room ID equals let's say three and we can execute that I've done something wrong that's, that's actually good what is it saying ambiguous name room ID uh, we're, we're gonna use items dot room ID because we do have a room ID on both tables so I'm gonna select this and hit execute now we can see that we have all of our items and we have the room name rather than the room ID which makes a lot more sense to humans um, hopefully this clears up 
the inner join we actually had a request for this from someone I hope it's not too late it's been a week uh, don't get to make these videos as often as I'd like but hopefully it uh, helped you out we'll talk to you next time